Hello everyone. Welcome to the training course on how to use a tape measure and how to read a tape measure. And also, you might this might be the first time that you use fractions in the daily life that you learned back whenever you were a kid in the first or second grade. Um, so a tape measure is usually used for construction jobs or any of your day daily life given projects. Um, with that being said, most of you may have never used a tape measure or, you know, we that's what we're here for today, though. So, if you look at your example that was given to you, um, and I have, I have a tape measure here that we can look at. Um, so, the real small, small ones where my index finger is at, and also on yours, it would be the first line after the one inch, it is a one sixteenth. So, each one of these small, each one of these lines in between one and two is a sixteenth. There's, and then after that, the little bit longer lines, they're eighth inch marks. And then after that, there is your half, which is the longest line in between the one and two. With that being said, um, the biggest part about this is making sure everything is precise whenever you are measuring or making cuts. It is very crucial whenever you are building things due to the fact that any given life stuff needs to be down to the finest inch because if not, it's either going to be crooked it's for a picture frame or anything else. The, the most common thing that uh, in the construction realm, whenever people are using tape measures is such as you're building houses, you need to make a per precise cut on your wood. Um, a lot, a lot of people look over this way too much and it's such a, the smallest things mean the most whenever it comes to building things. Um, so reading a tape measure is very crucial. I can't tell you how many times in my life of building things and doing stuff I have made the wrong decision by whether I, I look up, look over too quick and I read the tape measure wrong and next thing you know I make the wrong cut that that cost does that will cost everyone else money so in a business realm it is very crucial so if if we're reading this tape measure in uh, there's a couple practice problems that was handed out to you guys um, We'll, we'll use the demonstration piece, some of the demonstration pieces I have. If, we, if we're going to go out and we need to cut cut this block of wood, and we, if we go ahead and we measure this block of wood, as you can see, this block of wood is uh, 3 and 15 and 13 sixteenths, my bad. See, even I mess up sometimes. But... Another example is we take this block of wood and I'll give you time to answer and guess. This block of wood is 4 and 13 sixteenths also. And so it's one inch longer. So there's a lot of times where people will start blurting out numbers and stuff like that. And that's a very crucial thing to make sure you pick up on. So one more last example that a physical example is taking this piece. Oh, let's get this camera to focus. I'll help you out on this. It is nine and five eighths. So whenever you're reading this, you won't you won't go along. So it's if it's not a uh, if it cannot be simplified, it is not going to be. It's not going to be a uh, 14 16 It's going to be simplified down to a 7 8 measurement instead of that large number. So if it can be fraction, if it can be reduced down to the simplest form, then we will take that and make it to the simplest form. Um, also, there, I gave you guys a couple practice problems here that we could work through. We can, 
we can have you do that. And we'll go, as you can see on the first problem, the first problem, it was 10 and a half. The second one is 25 and a quarter. The third one is 46 and a half. The fifth one is 16 and three quarter. The sixth one is 32 and a quarter. The seventh one is 12 and three quarter. The eighth one is 19 and a half. The ninth one is 29 and three quarter. And the 10th one is 22 and a quarter. So if you got them right, you're on the right track. Um, if not, look up and start doing some more practice problems. Look up some more practice problems. And I, I hope that example helps you guys to understand on how to read the tape measure better and further yourself and more projects. I hope everyone can use this, say in a company setting, and if this is what our product, if we need this for our product, we can do that. And if not, that's okay. Um, you guys can really use this every day in your life, and I think it is a very useful thing for everyone to have. So thank you, and have a nice day.